until it was overtaken by Grok. But GPT-40 launched May 13, 2024, and juiced up this March with an image generator, isn't just talk, it's a multimodal beast. Forget Dali 3's limits, 4O's image game is next level. Photorealistic scenes? Check. Transforming your pics? Done. Detailed prompts with text baked in? Nailed it. Built deep into GPT-40's omnimodal core, it taps everything it knows, recipes, code, context to craft images that aren't just pretty, they're useful. Think artsy infographics morphing into notebook sketches, all from a few words. It's a creator's dream. How's it work? No extra app log into ChatGPT's site or app, and boom, four O's there. Feed it text, pics, even audio it spits out art fast. Developers, hold tight APIs coming soon. Initially, Plus, Pro, and Team users got first dibs, but free-tier fans swamped it, delaying their rollout, per Sam Altman's March 27th tweet. ChatGPT has just released their image generation feature and it's insane. This is one of the images that I generated with this prompt. If I upload a photo of myself and I say, <laughs> Let's see what it does. It's actually not too fast, but it does a great job as you saw. Wow, this is crazy. It even took my braids. No, this is something else. Okay, let's do another one. Oh, wow. It even used my favorite team, Manchester United, but it seriously did all the things that I asked for. This is insane, but scary at the same time. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know. The magic hit me hard. I fed it my doodle of a forest. It spun a Ghibli-style masterpiece trees whispering secrets. It takes pics, twists them, follows the ramblings, make it rain, add a fox, and builds on itself 10, 20 details, no sweat. But here's the twist. This image generator has stirred a hornet's nest. GPT-40 is so good, it mimics Studio Ghibli's iconic style Think Totoro vibes without a brushstroke of human effort. Altman swapped his ex pick to a 4 made Ghibli knockoff, grinning like a kid. Fans cheered, artists fumed. Hayao Miyazaki, Ghibli's legend, despises AI art. He's called it an insult to life. X erupted, genius. Rivers' is theft, reigniting the plagiarism debate. Open AI's not backing down, they're charging ahead. Controversy be damned. GPT-4 owes a leap photorealism to cartoons, context-aware, building on prompts like a pro. One demo, a sleek infographic becomes a notebook sketch, step-by-step -step via natural chat. It's not just fun, it's practical. Recipe art? Code visuals. Done. Safety's baked in lessons from Dolly and Sora, but new risks pop up. Chat GBT, how to make Studio Ghibli images. So it's really easy just to take that image, copy and paste it in. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to change GPT 4.5 to 4.0. Then we're trying to change the genius mode at the top to Ghibli images. And then we're changing the whole style of the image to Ghibli style. It literally does it in one prompt. It's absolutely incredibly easy. Like you can see, create the whole image right here. We can download it if we want to. We can also edit this so we can edit like different points and parts and do whatever you want with it one thing that i like to do is keep developing it once we've done that right so if you really want to tweak this to like the nth degree then for example i've said can you make the face more shocked can you make the face like half human half ai robot to keep it landscape dimensions which one would get more clicks on youtube it's obviously going to be this one it's more shocking it's more interesting there's more going on inside the scene there's more emotion and also it's more original because you've got the half human and half ai robot so really powerful stuff it's so real, it blurs lines. X users gush. This is art reborn. But creators cry foul. Where's the soul? OpenAI says it's a tool, not a thief. It's not flawless. OpenAI admits it crops weirdly, hallucinates on vague prompts, and stumbles with non-Latin text or tiny details. Edit an image? It might tweak the wrong bit. Handling 20 plus objects? Dicey. These are growing pains standard for AI art, but they scream caution. Still, the promise shines. Artists could refine visions faster. Teachers craft visuals on the fly. Fordo's world knowledge physics culture keeps it grounded. 
A recipe becomes a plate, code turns into diagrams. It's a partner if you steer it right. But that ghibli shadow looms Altman's embrace of copycat art fuels the fire. Miyazaki's rage echoes a bigger fight, AI's power versus human craft. Good morning, everybody. Today, we have one of the most fun, cool things we have ever launched. People have been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, we know we've made you wait, but we think it's really worth it, and we think you're going to love it. We are launching native images in ChatGPT. Image generation has been around for a while. In fact, one of the first things that we ever were known for was the original Dolly. But image generation has been largely a novelty. Uh, you've been able to make some cool art with it, and people have done amazing things, but it has not had the power to be really useful in a wide variety of ways. The thing that we're going to launch today um, is native image generation in our 4.0 model, and it's such a huge step forward that the best way to uh, the best way to explain it to you is just to show it, which we'll do very soon. Um, but this is this is really something that we have been excited about bringing to the world for a long time. We think that if we can uh, offer image generation like this, creatives, educators, small business owners, students, way more will be able to use this and do all kinds of new things with AI that they couldn't before. And um, Really, the best thing to do is just to show it to you. So I'd like to introduce Gabe, who is the lead researcher uh, and really the primary driver of this product, and we will uh, hand it over. Hey, so I'm Gabe, uh, lead researcher. Hey, I'm Praful. I'm the head of multimodal research. So okay, I'm going to jump right in with, uh, with a demo. And uh, the reason I'm starting off with a demo is because I'm also using these demos as my speaker notes. So uh, it's a bit handy. Now, um, two years ago, when we first started this project, uh, we were interested in sort of like uh, maybe a scientific question about what native support for image generation would look like in a model as powerful as GPT-4. We didn't know the answer to that question, but a year later, when the model was done training, we saw really exciting signs of life. So, you know, we featured this in a full blog post, if some of you will remember, and, um, you know, we saw that the model could render paragraphs of text, for example, you could combine images in really very interesting and novel ways. And I think we spent a lot of time just playing with this model, and I felt that sense of like joy and excitement. You know, I haven't felt for a very long time, maybe even since GPT-2. I haven't either. This was yeah. one of those really wild moments. It was a wild moment. But that model was still a bit rough around the edges. So, you know, it's, um, you know, it, 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 you know, sometimes made typos. It, you know, it was, it, it was kind of unreliable, I'd say. And um, so over the last year, I've been refining this model to make it more accessible and more uh, user-friendly to the average person. And so, um, okay, the image is generating, as you can see. And um, um, let me see. So it seems to have gotten all the text. I don't see any typos, which is good. Okay. It's uh, still amazing to me to see uh, in, you know, image generation with perfect text. It shouldn't be that impressive, but somehow we've been waiting for this for so long. And yeah. Every time it happens, it's like, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, and, and the number of things that like this image had to get right in the instructions, like the you know what you went focused on, not like the that it should be a point of view image and where we are, and then sort of to get you know having the text like like that's just uh, this is still amazing to me. Yeah, and point of view images are actually really hard to do, and this kind of looks like what we see right now. It looks like you were just yeah. Right now, yeah. All right. Well, I am gonna begin my demo by taking a selfie of all of us. So, give me a nice expression. So, oh, yeah. Okay. GPT 4.0's image generators here, storming the web with beauty and baggage. A creative titan or a copyright crisis? You decide, drop your take below, smack like if you're stunned, and subscribe for more VL extras. Will 4.0 reshape art or spark a reckoning? We're watching Visual Style. Catch you next time.